On this episode of Motivate to Do Yourself Garage, we are going to show you an easy way to perform the Idle Air Volume Learning Procedure in about 10 seconds using a free app. It can be tricky to get the Idle Air Volume Learning Procedure to run. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please watch episode 27 entitled After Throttle Body Cleaning by clicking on the link in the description below. As mentioned in that episode, after cleaning the throttle body, we need to perform a special procedure to teach the engine computer how much air volume there is at idle with a newly cleaned throttle body. Now, most of us don't have access to the expensive dealer tools to do this, so we follow a special time sequence of stomping, releasing, and holding down the gas pedal to enable the idle air volume learning procedure to run. It can be tricky to get the timing just right and often requires multiple attempts. However, there is a much easier way. But first, I have good news and I have bad news. First, the good news. This is done by a free app. The bad news. Well, it's not bad news for everyone, but it's Android only and requires a Bluetooth OBD scanner. There is no iPhone app that I know of and Wi-Fi scanners won't work. So what's the name of this free app? Well, it's simply called NDS3 Lite. Simply head over to the Play Store, search for it, and install it. Now, just as a reminder, before the idle air volume learning is done, you must perform the pedal release position learning and the throttle valve close position learning. Luckily, they're very easy to do. If you haven't done this or you're not sure how, just watch episode 27 after throttle body cleaning and then pop back to this video. Plug in your Bluetooth OBD scanner into the car's diagnostic port and start the car. Now, in my case here, this is a brand new Bluetooth scanner, so I'm going to need to pair it for the first time before the app can use it. I'll touch settings, connections, Bluetooth to turn it on, and I'll touch Bluetooth again to search for devices. Now, the name of my Bluetooth OBD scanner is simply OBD2, so we wait until the name shows up. There it is. I will touch it and then enter the pin number. In this case here, it's one, two, three, four, and I will touch OK. Now it's paired with the system and we are ready to go. Now we can start the NDS3 Lite app and touch connect. Touch OBD2. In a few moments, it'll be connected to the ECU. Before we use the app to start the idle air volume learning procedure, we still need to make sure the preconditioning criteria is met. Touch the data display tab. In order for this to work, there's a small list of requirements or preconditions that must be met. The coolant temperature must be between 70 to 105 Celsius or 158 to 221 Fahrenheit. And the battery voltage must be greater than 12.9 volts. As we can see here, they are in the required range. Excellent. Also, the electrical load needs to be reduced as much as possible. So, Turn off the climate control, turn off the radio, and if you have navigation, turn off the nav screen. If you have daytime running lights, make sure the parking brake is on before you start the car. This will prevent the daytime running lights from turning on. Now we are ready to start the idle air volume learning. Touch work support, then touch idle air volume learn. And in about 10 seconds, it's done. This should work on all Nissan or Infiniti vehicles starting from about 2002, 2004. That's when electronic throttle bodies replaced the mechanical cable operated versions. As long as you make sure the preconditions are met, you can get the idle air volume learning procedure to run the first time every time and be done in about 10 seconds. If you want to learn more about onboard diagnostics, I think you may enjoy my other YouTube channel. Please search for OBD, the number for everyone. That's OBD for everyone. Thanks for watching, and as always, please subscribe and click on the bell to turn on notifications. Thank you.